Hi, and welcome to Blue Ridge Community Church Online Sunday School. Today, we'll find out that Jesus is our friend, and we can be good friends to others, too. We'll learn how Jesus made a new friend named Matthew and spent time with Matthew at his house. Let's start by talking about our friends. How many of you out there have a really good friend that you like to spend time with and have play dates with? I know I do. When I was your age, I had a really good friend and her name was Stacy. And she and I spent every weekend together. We would uh, hang out or go to the movies or we had what well, we would have sleepovers and we would uh, play our favorite game. There was this game called Mastermind and we loved playing that game. And we were always together. We would even go shopping and buy the same shirt so we could look like twins when we went to school. How about you guys? Do you guys have a really good friend like that? You do? Well, what's their names? Wow, you guys do have a lot of good friends. But did you know that Jesus is our friend? He's the best at being a friend. And he even shows others how to be a great friend. Because I don't know about you, but even though my friend Stacy and I were best friends, we still had arguments and we weren't always the best of friends. Like sometimes when I would lose at playing that mastermind game, I would get really upset and then I wasn't being a very good friend to her. So Jesus showed me how to be a better friend and he can show you how to be a better friend too. Before we get started, let's bow our heads and say a quick prayer. Thank you God for being our friend and thank you most for our friend Jesus. Help us to learn the importance of being a good friend to others. Amen. Today, we'll find out that Jesus is our friend. We'll read in the Bible about how Jesus was a good friend, and we'll find out we how we can be good friends to others, too. Let's look at what the Bible says now. Today, we are going to be reading our Bibles, and we're going to be reading from the book of Matthew. Now, how many of you can tell me whether Matthew is in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Raise your hand if you think it's in the Old Testament. Okay, now raise your hand if you think Matthew's in the New Testament. If you raised your hand that Matthew's in the New Testament, you are right. In fact, it's the very first book of, of the New Testament. And we are going to, if you have your Bibles and you can read, open up to Matthew chapter 9. And we are going to start with verse 9. And that says, as Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told them, and Matthew got up and followed him. Jesus wants us to be friends with everyone, and when he asked Matthew to be his friend and spend time with him, Matthew got right up and followed Jesus. Jesus is our friend too, and he loves to spend time with us, whether we're playing outside just relaxing on the couch or eating a meal. Jesus loves to be with us. The Bible says after he got up and went with uh, Jesus, Matthew invited Jesus to his home for dinner. Matthew invited some of his friends to have dinner with them too. Matthew's friends were called sinners because they'd made a lot of bad choices and some of them hadn't been very nice to other people. Jesus doesn't want to, 
anyone to make bad choices, or he doesn't want them to hurt others. But he knew he could help Matthew and his friends learn to be kind, loving friends. Let's talk about guests we've had in our in your home or in our my home for dinner. I know I've had friends over for dinner. I've had family over for dinner. How about you guys? Have you guys had friends and family over for dinner? I like having guests over for dinner because we always get to bring out the good dishes and we always have a good dessert when we have uh, friends and family over for dinner. How about you guys? Um, have you guys had guests come over for dinner? Wow, it seems like a lot of you have had people over to your house. Like I said, it's nice to have friends and family over whether we're playing together or just eating a good meal together. Jesus is our friend, and he loves to be invited to spend time with us the way Matthew invited him over. When Jesus decided to spend time with Matthew and his friends, um, some people who were called Pharisees got really angry that Jesus spent time with Matthew and his friends since they were sinners. Can you guys, they were so angry, and can you guys show me your angry faces? Mm, yeah, Ooh, those are some really angry faces. Well, that's how angry the Pharisees were, that Jesus was just being friends with these people. They didn't understand what he was doing. They didn't think that Jesus, Jesus should spend time with people who had made bad choices or who had hurt other people. Jesus didn't like that they had hurt other people, but he knew he could help them change and become good friends. Jesus said this to the Pharisees, and I'm going back to the Bible now, and we're still in Matthew chapter 9, but we're going to read verse 12 this time. And it goes, On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Hmm, that's true. When do we go to the doctor most of the time? We don't wake up in the morning and say, Whoo, I'm feeling good today. I think I'll go to the doctor. No, we don't do that, do we? We go to the doctor most of the time when we're sick and when we need some medicine or need the doctor just to tell us what to do to feel better. So Jesus wasn't really talking about sick, sick people and doctors. He was saying that people who never do anything wrong don't need his help. Jesus meant that Matthew and his friends knew they'd made a lot of bad choices and could use Jesus' help and forgiveness. But the Pharisees thought they were great at making good choices, so they didn't need Jesus' help or forgiveness. The Pharisees thought they were just great. Jesus really could help the Pharisees, but they didn't want his help. If they'd let Jesus be their friend, he turned their angry faces to happy faces. Can you guys make your angry face again and then turn your frown upside down and make it a happy, smiling face? And that's what Jesus does for us. Matthew and his friends knew that they'd made bad choices. And we know we make bad choices sometimes, too. But Jesus still wants to be our friend. And he wants to help us do what's best for us. Jesus is our friend, and he can make us good friends, too. Just like he helped me, because even when I wasn't a good friend to my friend Stacy, she forgave me and was still my friend. I'm going to show you guys some pictures now, and I want you guys to tell me if these pictures are of good friends or bad friends. Now, if you think it's a picture of a good friend, I want you to give me the thumbs up, okay? 
And if you think it's a picture of somebody who's being a bad friend, you can give me the thumbs down. Okay? All right. Here's the first picture. It's two friends. And look, they're fighting over the same teddy bear. What do you guys think? Is this a good friend or a bad friend? You got it. This is a bad friend. They are not sharing, are they? They are fighting over that teddy bear. All right. Here comes the next one. <sighs> look, it's two friends and they're playing a game. And it looks like they're smiling and taking turns. Are they being a good friend or a bad friend? You've got it. They're being good friends, aren't they? Good job, guys. All right. This picture reminds me of me and my sister sometimes. Okay. What are they doing? Look, they're in a fight. A real fight. Are they being good friends or bad friends? Yeah, this one isn't even hard, is it? They're being bad friends. All right, how about this one? Look, there's two good friends and they're giving each other a hug. What do we think? Good friend or bad friend? Yeah, they're being good friends. <clears throat> All right, last one. There we go. All right, there's two friends and they're, sh instead of fighting over a teddy bear, they're sharing that teddy bear. Are they being a good friend or a bad friend? Yep, they're being a good friend. Good job. You guys did an awesome job. So let's remember, despite the fact that Matthew and his friends were sinners and did bad things sometimes, Jesus was still their friends because he knew on the inside of their hearts he could help them to be good people. We can be friends to people no matter what's on the outside because Jesus, because like Jesus, we need to look on people's insides at their heart. All right, so today we found out what a great friend Jesus is. We learned how Jesus is a good friend and shows us how to be a good friend. Let's pray and thank Jesus for being a good friend now, okay? All right, let's bow our heads. Thank you, Jesus, that when we're friends with you, you love and care for us instead of letting us be all alone, that you forgive us and help us forgive others, that you bring us a group of good friends, and that you turn our friends upside down our frowns upside down. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you do. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, that's all for this week. Come back next week and we'll have another of our Sunday school lessons when we learn more about the heart of God. I'll see you guys next week.